talk about the ZMAX environment. First, we have ribbons here. For example, here, we set up ribbons. And in each ribbon, we have some group. For example, here, this is the setup. This is the mode. We can have two modes. We can have sequential and non-sequential. Usually, non-sequential is used for general optical system when you have a source of illumination. And sequential is to use for imaging system. Lens data, lens data editor, cross-section of the system, system viewer, diagnosis. So we have different groups. And uh, let's start from the file. We have lens file, like all other softwares. Archive or CAD file. So usually we set up for the setup. We sometimes we use it for savings, and then we don't need that much. And the setup is the same. So when you set up the system, like up, uh, system explorer and optics preference, then we are not gonna do that much. So analyze is the tab that we usually use it for analyzing the data, for analyzing the result the effect of a change that we do so in analyzing app we usually don't change anything just for viewing the results that is generating generated so optimize is a tab that helps you for making the design better and change the merit function optimize this tab we're going to do a lot of work to make the design better tolerancing is for we can Manufacturing tolerance on optical parts, changing the diameter, changing the radius of curvature, changing the refracting, the effect. Those changes in on optical and final optical performance. Libraries in libraries we have different elements. For example, you can uh, when you install ZMAX, you have a huge lens catalog. You have a huge lens uh, optics library and coating so all those coatings and tools that are related to the library are here art designer we are not going to use that part a lot programming zmax has its own programming language but uh, you can connect zmax to different offers different program for programming and a star module we are not going to use it help pretty important whenever you get a stuck just search for anything in the help system. So the other important part of ZMAX is this system explorer. So anytime when we set up the system, it has different bars, aperture, wavelengths, and you can change the position of parts and Another important part of ZMAX is lens data. In these windows, actually, we usually keep it open. We put different surfaces, and that's the, one of the most important uh, windows in ZMAX. So I have another lesson that we're going to go through these windows. But one of the important buttons in ZMAX is this help button. Whenever you see that, you can click on this help button, and you can see, uh, for example, here we click on lens data and the help is related to the uh, lens data editor. So you can read through the help and get a good amount of information about different functions, different uh, parts of the windows and a lot of other parameters. 